Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me. I'm just going to wait for a few people to join us. We're going to be doing a live today that's going to feature the mini catalogue and the celebration catalogue and it's going to run through a few of the products and then also do some live crafting. I have so many things by my desk, I don't know what I'm creating but I'm sure we'll get there in the end and we'll make something nice, hopefully. <laughs> Just going to wait a few moments for people to come on. Also going to just turn it on on my iPad so I can see that if people are commenting um, and I can talk back with you. So that would be quite nice. So then this is the new mini catalogue from Celebration. It went live on the 3rd. It has got some gorgeous sets in. And then this is a celebration catalogue that accompanies it. So I'm going to run through the celebration catalogue first and explain that one to you. So it's got quite a little handy guide on the front. If you spend £45 on any stamping up items that you can find on my website, so you go to slimandstylish.com, go up to top and click on buy. You can go over to the website and if you spend £45 you get one of the free items that's got the little, the little purple dot. The little red dot, that's if you spend £90 you can get that or you can get two of the purple dots. You see what I mean? There is some gorgeous sets. So there's the Gangs All Mia. I haven't quite got that one yet. But this one, the lily pad set is great. It's a full set. You get the stamps. That's free with a £45 purchase. The dies, which is free with a £90 purchase. And then you've also got the paper here that was free again with another £45 purchase. So these are the stamps. As you can tell, I've been using them. They're coming to you on my blog this week. But they're sort of a double stamp. So you can turn them over and stamp again. So let me show you quickly with this one. Grab some paper. There we are. And we'll do this in flirty flamingo. So I can use my first flirty flamingo to get the outline and stamp that down. And then I can turn the stamp over and using the back. I can stamp off and then stamp on to cover the lily. How great is that? So that set is free with a £45 purchase and you can also get the matching papers and the matching dies. So the dies are here. If I can get into them. So once you've actually stamped it and you've pushed it out, you can then dye it as well. Brilliant. And the papers that match this set are these papers here. These are 12 by 12. I've cut them so they're 6 by 12 because they're included in my paper share. By the way, if you like any of the papers that I mentioned today, they are in my paper share and you get a quarter of each pack and you pay £19, which is a great saving. So if you want to join in, I still have two spaces left. So let me know and I can send you the details. So yeah, I love that one. And I like that you can get all of it as well. I think that's really handy that the whole suite can come through celebration. So it's practically a free suite. There's also sequins and twine that you can get as well. I'm going to move pretty quick because there's a whole two catalogues to go through. This one here, happy birthday to you. I love this. This is also an awesome stamp set. It is a cling mount stamp set. So it has the backing on that is really tacky so it will stick to your block. So I'm just going to grab a slightly bigger block. Can you tell everything fell? That block was holding everything up. <laughs> You can just stamp that. Oh, 
on your card. There's a happy birthday to you and a celebrate. I'm going to use a celebrate if I can get it off the back of the, the casing. I've got some scrap cards somewhere. in with the memento ink for this I'm just going to cut that a little bit smaller and if you cut direct up the middle notch in at both sides you've created a little tag so then with this one you can take a blend any color you don't have to have all of them and you can just pop yourself a bit of colour on there, you don't need a lot. And you'll notice I'm only doing the leaves. That's because I only want a tiny little bit of colour. I did that in Granny Apple Green, so let me just grab some Granny Apple Green cardstock. This is what I love about stamping up, everything matches. Grab my trimmer. Mm, 10 centimetres. And 14.2 centimetres. some cardstock here so for my tent fold cards I just use a piece of A4 paper cut it in half and score it in half if you're in America I believe you have different sizes so if that's the case don't use the size measurement that I just told you for the backing accommodate it accordingly I'm just going to stick that on there add a couple of dimensionals I made a bit of a mistake with the backing of the card. Is your card. That's using a free stamp set that you can get when you have spent £45 spend or more. You can earn this free. And there it is. All you needed was one blend and some backing card. Right, moving on from that set. You can also get from Celebration. Where were we in the book? There's some card kits here, so if you're new to stamping, you can purchase some card kits and it tells you here what's included. So if you spend £45 on buying the backing card, you can buy the card kit, it will all go together and you can keep making on and on and on, even after the kit's gone. So that is really a gift of getting into paper craft. Honeybee cards. There is a honeybee in the new mini catalogue, which is great and it matches with this DSP which is beautiful it's foil DSP my favorite one's this one the actual honeycomb one because I think you could do so much with that being a geometric print I know I will show you the honey pea set like I said I will be going through the mini catalog as well on this so you can see all the different bits and pieces that go with that but I just wanted to show you because I'm excited about it. There it is, it's another Kling's Mount Stamp Set and there are the dies. And what's great is if you purchase these and then purchase some cardstock, you can get this paper free, but the paper is also included in my paper share if you wanted to join in. Right. Next up, the Sending You Thoughts Kling Mount Stamp Set. I love this, it is just a whole load of sentiments and they're all cling mount. You can see I've used one of them so far, which is thanks, which will be coming out on my blog soon. But it means you can take any of the picture stamp sets that are in the catalogue and you can use this to give you a sentiment. Um, the 
Thoughtful Blooms. That's this one. And there is also, this one is a free with a £45 purchase. You can get the punch, which is free with a £90 purchase. So let me show how you can coordinate these together, because you can, and it's great. So I'm going to use this one. For a free stamp set, you get loads of stamps. It's really good. And I'm going to use, which colour shall I use? My flowers. Should we go with a nice sort of pink? Should we go with lovely lipstick? Yeah, let's go lovely lipstick. So I'm just going to stamp a few of those. And you can punch them out using the punch. Quite handy. One. Two. Three. Now, because you've actually used our classic colours, you could use a blender pen here to get some more shading in those. I've left my blender pen downstairs, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as it is. But in the stamp set, you do have a filler stamp set that you could, you know, double stamp off like I did the lily at the start. Teaching you to suck eggs, you know how to do that. So I'm now going to pop in one of the phrases. Uh, this one's quite nice. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. That's quite a cute phrase. do that in lovely lipstick as well I come back in with this stamp but I'm going to stamp directly onto my backing piece of paper now I'm just going to create a little corner decoration for it of glue dots on the back of these now have you ever used that trick where you've just got a bit of foam so you want a bit of foam this i can't remember what this come with something that was obviously packaged but you just want to push it down with the back of your piercing tool so it just gives some dimension to the flowers stick that on there Squish that down too much. And then I'm going to grab a couple of pearls for the centre. I was having this debate the other day between rhinestones and pearls. I get through loads of rhinestones, but I hardly ever get through pearls. But when I use them, I prefer the pearls, but I never think to go to them straight away. But they are actually my favourite, considering I don't use them as much. Which is your favourite? Which ones do you use the most? This one does not want to go where it's supposed to go. It's like, no, you won't use me. And there we go. There's the base for you, well, the front for your card. So I'm just going to grab a piece of lovely lipstick. Have I got a piece handy? See, I warned you at the start I wasn't prepared for what I was going to be making, otherwise I'd have all the backgrounds done. But I wasn't 100% sure which sets I'd be playing with and which sets I wouldn't. I thought, I'll pick as I go along, see what we can make. Stick that onto there. And then again, I've just got a tent fold piece of card. And my bone folder. 
for anyone who's recently started crafting and they don't think they need a bone folder if they are cheap they are inexpensive they are amazing you need one so there you go a nice quick simple card using the thoughtful blooms and the punch that goes along with it that is great so if you spend 135 pounds on any stamping up items you can get both the stamp set and the punch for free and look i like how it coordinates i do like how it goes together next up in the celebration catalog which i have lost see this is why i don't craft when i'm doing these <laughs> oh yes this set this is 90 pounds so it's free with a 90 pound but it's a double you get the stamp set and the embossing folder and this stamp set is so cute can't wait to get it and blend in her dress look they've done it there she's just so cute hi gracie if you are planning to host a craft party during celebration this is the page you want to pay attention to so if you get 150 pounds worth of sales from your party or individually you get 10 percent back to spend on anything 275 pounds you get 12 percent back but if you do any of these ones you also get a free stamp set which is this one here the little ladybug stamp set and this is adorable so cute this one was on my blog today and it's just amazing with your blends it really is head over to my blog head over to my youtube and you'll see the full tutorial of one of the sets that i've done with this one all i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp it using memento pop it in the corner how cute spread your wings and learn to fly where's that one i like that sentiment it's cute I'm going to run out of blocks in a minute because I keep making these. <laughs> I haven't cleaned off a single stamp. <laughs> it's not how I like to craft, honestly. Spread your wings and fly. And then I'm just going to grab what have I got here. Poppy parade. And the light and the dark. I'm coming in with a bullet tip. I'm just going to go around the outside of my ladybug. I'm not going to be too tidy because I'm aware of the time. I don't want to keep you on for ages watching me colour. But if you know how these work, you come in with a lighter colour over the top and you blend it in and it's such a great effect. If you've got the ivory or the pretty pink ones you can do the face but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave it like that how cute is that back it onto poppy parade and add a bow and you've got yourself a card that one on the side i will do that i'll finish it and i'll put it on my blog for you finally the last page of this catalogue which i think to be honest is one of the most important pages if you're interested in paper craft and you're looking for good savings during celebration it is the join offer so during celebration if you join it's 99 pounds you get £130 worth of gifts. So as soon as you look through the catalogue, if there is more than £100 worth of product that you want, this is really the deal for you. What you need to do is go over to my website and click on join. I'd be happy to have you in my team, whether you want to become a demonstrator or whether you just want the discounts. You work out £130 worth of products that you want you also need to find a stamp set that you want because as well as 130 pounds worth of products you get a stamp set of your choice you can choose any providing it's not a celebration stamp set so you could choose one of the 40 pound stamp sets that would give you 170 pound worth of products you also get a paper sampler which is all of these papers they're six by six 
and it's of all the normal DSP, not the foil DSP, and there's three or four of each type, so it doesn't include all the papers in there, but it does include a sample. And then you also get, and this is super cute, you get a mini guillotine. How cute is that? It is four and a half inches by six inches, and it just works. It is so handy. And I've got it on my desk because I have a big guillotine and I can't carry that everywhere, but this I can use. So it's going to be really handy for me and you get that free. So if you want the best offer in any of the catalogues during celebration, it's this one. If you like £100 worth of product, honestly consider this. Speak to me about joining my team or head over to my website, click on join and fill out your details there. Okay, on to the mini catalogue. This catalogue is amazing. There's so many beautiful things. At the start, there is a bundles bit, which shows you all the different bundles that you can get so that you're not missing out. If you want to get a stamp set, check here and it will tell you if it comes part of the bundle. The first suite is the From My Heart suite, which is just cute, isn't it? It's a Valentine's suite with all hearts and it's foiled paper. Let me show you the paper. It is included in my paper share, so if you've asked for one of those, it's in there. It's 12 by 12. I have cut it at 6 by 12 because that's the paper share size. And it is all foiled and shiny. Hi, Katrina. How cute is that? What's great about this is this one here. There are two new punches with this suite. And you can buy them as a bundle with a stamp set or separately. They come either as the chevron outside and straight. So it's the two punches there. And you've got the, the wavy one and the straight one. So you can cut inside or outside with the punches. And these line up to the punches. So it's ideal when you're crafting. There's also ribbons and doilies and sequins. Ah, everything for you in that suite. This is a closer look at the stamps. Being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. I like that one. That's my favourite and that's sweet. There's also some more sentiment steps. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because there is some more crafting I want to show you and bits in the catalogue. But do remember, anything you spend out of here, £45, you get a free item from the other catalogue that I've just shown you. This one here, I haven't got a sample to show you, unfortunately, but there are samples over on my blog. These dies, the gate opens... So you can open the gate to get through to the garden. So it's actually a really cool effect of a card. And I quite like that. Parisian blossoms. I love this suite. I love everything about it. The ribbon that goes with this suite is this one. It is petal pink with a metallic edge. And there are also champagne rhinestones that match with it. Because this metallic edge is a champagne metallic reg edge. So it's all sort of rose gold. The papers have got foil in them again. And they're these. Again, they're all shiny and foily. They're all part of my paper share. But look at them. They're so cute. And this is the stamp set or one of the stamp sets. You have the forever blossoms as well as the parisian beauty and this is the forever blossoms and it's got matching dyes which are the cheeky blossoms dyes there they are let me do a card with you with this one shall we because i love this one while i do love the big stamp you can see i've used it loads i'm just going to use the little one with you and i'm going to use always and forever because i think that is such a cute sentiment got my card base again all of my card bases in case you're wondering are nine and a half centimeters by 13.8 i get asked that an awful lot of times um and those are always the same cardstock sizes that i use I'm just peeling off the ladybug because i ran out of blocks <laughs> and my memento ink and with this one i'm just going to stamp the sentiment on 
I'm going to go down the bottom, always and forever. And then I'm just going to do a pattern down there. There are leaves that you can put with these to coordinate with it. There is also some buds. So you can actually build up your own, your own sort of sprig. I'm just going to do it like this. And which colour should we go with with this one? I've played with red, I've played with pink, I've played with green. There we go. Uh, Highland Heather, Purple Posy. And purple posy let's do that so i'm gonna just you get the idea this is the um dark island heather i'm just gonna keep going down and this is the dark purple posy and i'm just gonna drag that up like that okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the light purple posy to finish that off and blend it all in together okay so the flower is like that I'm going to do this really quickly because I want to get through all the other cards I have a great die set for you at the end though. Yeah, I do, it's a super die set. As soon as I saw it, I knew that that was gonna be the main thing that I'd be blogging about this year. It's a bag. I'm no good with secrets, am I? I can't keep them, I get too excited to tell you it's a bag. And it's in the last suite. I guess I gotta wait around to see it. But I think it's going to be a bestseller because it's pretty spectacular and it's such a good idea and it's so quick and so easy and so simple. I can't wait to show it you and I'm going to use some DSP with it and some, oh, I'm already talking about it. Let's stay with this card. I'll come back to that one. So there we go. When you do shop or if you do shop, if you see something you like, you head over to slimandstylish.com up on the header it says buy and it takes you to my store but what you want to do before then is have a look on the left hand side of my website and it has my hostess point number on there if you use that you get a special gift from me so there's the end of that one i'll be popping that onto some highlander heather and then putting it onto the base of my card and i'll have that on my blog to show you but isn't that such a cool set that's the forever blossoms set okay bring the catalogue back over, move some stuff off my desk, it's getting rather cramped. Now this one I think is really cute, this is so inviting. Has anyone got any weddings coming up or anything? That would be brilliant. You're invited, save the date and everything to make your own invitations. I love that set, I think it's brilliant. Over here, so sentimental. This has stitched so sweetly dies that match it. So where you see these lines around here, it shows you that you can stitch it and die cut it out and they go together as a bundle. And if you buy it as a bundle, you save 10% as well. This one is 45 pounds. So you also not only save 10%, you get a free celebration item. I worked that one out well for you, didn't they? Positive thoughts. I love this one. We used to have a set with a dahlia that was a lot bigger and it was really, it used to take up the holy card and it was beautiful. I love the fact it's smaller and it's going to be the same effect, I feel. Peaceful poppies sweet. So this is this sweet. It's gorgeous. This is a stamp set that goes with it. And the papers that go with it are these ones. These again are from my paper share, so they're six inches by 12. They do come 12 by 12. If you wanted to still join my paper share, like I said, there's still space, so just let me know and I can post these out to you tomorrow if you wanted. Those are the papers. There is also 
some crinkly seam binding, which is this, which is great because you can actually colour this with your blends and pop it to any shade you want. So if we're going to make a card with this one, um, let me grab some scrap paper and a stamp. We'll go with this one if I can get it off the bottom. I've cut my nails down. I'm finding it really hard to get the cling stamps off the bottom now because I'm used to having my nail and doing it that way. I've grown them really long over Christmas and then they broke. Well, one broke, but you can't have them all long then, can you? It really upset me. <laughs> Put me in a bad mood. So I'm just going to fussy cut that out quickly. There are matching dies. So if you're not a fan of fussy cutting... You can use the matching dies, but I do struggle to get my big shot on the table. I'm going to make my bag later, so I'm going to have to try and get my big shot on the table. But I do struggle with it. Do, 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 do. Too much card there for fussy getting. I like fussy cutting. One of my team members, Karen, she likes fussy cutting as well. And I said to her how I find it therapeutic and she said the same, which was a bit silly because we were at a team retreat and we were crafting at the time. And I said to her, oh, I find fussy cutting quite therapeutic. And she said, me too. And so I left her with all my fussy cutting to do. <laughs> but I went to the tea station and bought back tea and a cookie. So I thought it was OK. There we go. I've still got my Poppy Parade blends out. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to come out from the middle. Really messy, really messy. And I don't care. I'm just going to highlight those bits too. Not worrying about staying within the lines. And while I've got this out, I'm going to use the thick bit. And I'm just going to highlight the seam binding. So you can colour it. Any colour you want. And it will fit then with any project. This is what I like about white ribbons. While I tell you that the other ribbons are cute, feel free to buy them and I have a whole ribbon rack. I would much prefer to have the white ones and use my blends to get it the exact colour. And tomorrow I could decide to do green and it means I only need one roll of ribbon and can play with everything. So I'm just going to... Do you think that's long enough for a bow? This is where I struggle. I can never work out how long... I'm going to go up to that knot. I've knotted it and if you're wondering why there's black on there I've just dropped my memento ink pad into my lap it's a good job I'm wearing old trousers all right so I'm gonna come back and use that in a minute and I've got my poppy parade DSP I have I'm at light poppy parade first let's finish this two jobs at once without finishing the first and colour your poppy in. down to 10 centimetres by 14.2 and then just for fun I'm going to use my mini guillotine I'm so happy I have this if you join you get this and it's great so I'm going to cut that down to nine and a half centimetres going to um, I'm going to cut it to 10 centimetres I'm going to do it as a square I'm going to do it as a square 9.5 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres stick that on you 
using my mini guillotine they will never be available to buy you can only get that if you join and that's where i'm going to hope i've done enough but i'm not sure if i have let's put that round pop it in the bow enough please say I've done enough I have right. I'm push that over to there and then you know that celebration stamp set that I told you about earlier that is just full of sentiments and it would be great with any of our sweets this one here, this is free with £45. I'm going to use with a great big wish for happiness. I haven't stuck this onto my backing yet. Let me show you how to do that. So these are the backing sheets. You just take that off. And you just stick that on. How simple is that? But now it's completely sticky and it will stay on your block. And it will also allow you to see where you're sticking or what you're stamping. And I had some scrap whisper wire. Oh no, I want to, no. Let's do it onto the cardstock. With a great big wish for happiness, just there. Yeah, that's the ticket. And then I'm just going to use a dimensional. To stick my poppy on. Where the lid to that is, but I don't want it falling in my lap again. Cardstock. And on it goes. And there's my peaceful poppy card. Thank you. So that was using the paper sampler that you get if you join and the guillotine that you get if you join, but it's actually using the painted poppy set, which I think is just so cute and awesome. So let me bring my catalogue back. I dropped it here somewhere. There it is. There's the ribbon. Seven pounds. It's a bargain considering you can make it any colour you want to make it. Love that. And there's the matching dies, but there is also a sentiments set with this if you wanted to use the sentiment set rather than using the one out of the celebration catalogue. But I like a freebie. And if you buy this stamp set here for £21 and the matching dies it comes to £48.50 so you can get something free so you can actually get this sentiment set completely free and use it together and that works for me I like that turn it over beautiful moments this stamp set will be feet I'm not going to do a card with it because this is going to come up on my blog like every day I love this one it reminds me of the other lady sketches that we've had in previous catalogues but it's just got really nice moments with it and the sentiments are great and if you're a fan of the blends like I am this is gonna work for you it is a cute set beautifully braided again a really cute set but it's got the matching punch with it so you can actually create this braid and not only can you create the braid you can then stamp inside the braid So that works really well Here's the honeybee. So I showed you the honeybee earlier, which you can get the free papers for. So the honeybee and the dies come to £38.50. Add a pack of cardstock onto it or some glue dots. Get it up to £45 and you can get the paper that I showed you earlier free. This is the cling stamp set. It is just cute. And then here are the matching dies. I haven't opened them yet, so I'm not sure which dies you get with it. Should we have a look? Oh, exciting. Normally I rip the wrapper off everything, but I get straight away to have a look. I get really excited when I get a delivery from Stampin' Up. 
this now let me tell you a story this there was a really cute project done on stage where they had used this and created the background and then they had cut this out on several different colors and restuck the pentagons back in or the hexagons six sides hexagon isn't it stuck the hexagons back in of all the different colors and it looked really cool i will do a card and i'll pop it in my blog like that and it was really great but they did look like dimensional backs and if you like me i have a phobia with dimensional backs i find them everywhere they're all around the house so i've got a feeling we're going to have the same with that die but it's just going to be so cute make it look like a proper honeycomb i love that idea um perfectly framed i haven't got but i do really like the font on it so i am thinking about that one birthday bonanza suite this is a cute suite if you've got a children or a child's birthday here are the papers with confetti and stripes and presents and dots and ice creams and over the other side you've got balloons you've got some toucans some lions and some quailers there are also the gusseted cellophane bags which i never spotted it on stage and then someone did a project with them and i totally missed them but they're gorgeous so we put those birthday jubilee i haven't got this one but it does have some really intricate dyes so if you're an intricate dye person that's the one to pay attention to label me bold i do have that one i do like it there's going to be a few come up but i really like the sentiments and how they're shadowed so you can stamp them and cut them out and add them onto your card and that's going to be brilliant for me so this will be a stamp set that i use with another stamp set okay this one here special someone there may be some dyes coming out with that one i didn't tell you but there might be <laughs> tropical oasis suite this is a pretty sweet this stamp set let me show it you there is great you can you've got some gorgeous papers with it but you can actually create your own backgrounds using this and i have a card this week that has created a whole background just using this stamp set and i love it get your blends out get color in make it bright make it beautiful but they've also got the braided burlap which is just just cute so that's that one layered with kindness this has these two punches i am going to demonstrate those for you because i just think they're amazing so where's my sweet here it is i'm going to use happy birthday just for ease but i might change my opinion and i'll show you how you can change your opinion on this as well because that's super cool a lovely lipstick because that's what's next to me getting a bit fed up of memento as well there's only so much black you can do there we go punch it out this is the new punch that's also on that page the new punches are 17 pounds each and then we have this punch this punch here can print, punch out another sentiment so you can do thank you for your kindness and it punches exactly to the size of the middle of that as you can see it's not going to do it right if you stamped thank you kindness punched it out you would be able to fit it over there but still have the decoration at the side but what's great is you can punch this just there and just there to give it ribbon tabs and then you can turn it round and punch it in the hole to make it into a tab so you can put your twine through there to make it into a tag for a present or anything or you can put your ribbon round and attach it that way so those two punches work brilliantly together it's such a cute idea and they fit perfectly with a layered with kindness stamp set so that's that one this is an awkward catalogue. I liked it being landscape because I thought it was different, but it doesn't quite fit in the camera, does it? So you've got the Under My Umbrella bundle, which has the umbrella punch to go with it. And there's also the Timeless Tulips bundle, which has the punch to go with that. And again, they're both bundles and you get 10% off when you purchase them. So they're always good ones. 
Easter sets. Never have enough Easter sets, can you? I think they're cute. This one here, Welcome Easter, I've got with these really little cute, oh, cute little characters. But I like this. Welcome to the world, little one with a heart. I just think that's really sweet. And multifunctional because you can have it as Easter and a new baby. Country Club Suite, which comes with twine. I like twine. These are the papers that are part of the paper share. But if you do get them from the catalogue, they come 12 by 12. They're sweet. Tartans. Use those. I'm not really a man card person, though, so I didn't get the stamp set. But if you are, it's a great stamp set to get. Same as by the docks and clubhouse. And there's a barbecue one over here, outdoor barbecue, and pedal to the metal. I'm not a runner. If you've ever seen a picture of me, you will know that I'm not a runner, but I don't mind I don't mind swimming. Mountain Air Bundle, I haven't got it, but you know the lily pad that I showed you earlier that is reversible? If you stamp it one side, you can turn it over and stamp it the other side. This is what the Mountain Air Bundle is. So you can stamp the mountains, turn them over, and you can stamp an outline, or you can double stamp it off and add it some colour. So that's quite a clever technique stamp. Um, and it creates these wonderful cards like that and there are dies so that you can create even more dimension with it but this is the suite i've been waiting for this is the best dressed suite the stamp set is cute but the dies this is what we're playing with by the way let me show you let me show you there is a bag die how cool is that so let me get some card stock so we can play what colour card shall we... Well, what paper have I got to go with this set? Um, there we go. We'll, we'll use that one, which has got petal pink. So let me just grab some petal pink cardstock. And I'm going to want to cut that. That is five inches. So where's my trimmer? By the way, in case you haven't guessed, I have got everything that I've shown you and everything I've created like all over the place now. <laughs> a bit OCD about putting the stuff that I create with back so I know where it is the next time I create. So later I'm gonna be stressy. Let's bring my big shot up and see if I can get it on the desk where I film. If not, I'm just gonna have to do it at the desk behind me. But I think I can do it. Yes, I can. This bundle, I think, is going to be the top selling bundle, in my opinion, because I like it. But you just pop that onto your plate and push it through. And there's the one side of the bag. You now need another piece of paper. So where do I put my trimmer and my cardstock? I didn't think about doing both sides of the bag. <laughs> this is the first time, by the way, I've played with this, so I'm quite excited myself. There we go. Let's so put that on. Put the die on. I run that one through. it's the first time playing with it so I haven't worked out exactly how we're going to put it together so I'm going to guess that that folds in there that folds out and then we have the tab to stick it to and then the tabs fold in for the base and over here we're going to want to stick that yet yeah. so oh, that's clever I haven't actually done that straight. There we go. Then we glue the tabs together. Let's see if this works. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. I'm like a little kid over this. I'm so excited about it. There we go.
and then put that together. Here's the tabs, so that tab there can go in. In fact, I think that tab there, when it goes in there. And in there, I think we should have folded that in, you know. I think that needs to be pushed, pushed back out again. So that it creates the bag like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna it's great we're assembling it for the first time together. I've really I don't know how I haven't played with this yet because I have been so excited about it. There we go, there's my bag. Ah. And then also in the dies, oh this is exciting. I knew I should save the best till last because I actually play in now with it. This one here creates the handles. So I'm just going to run that off, off camera because I left my big shot on the floor. So I'm just going to run that through quickly. And there's one handle. I'm just going to do the second one as well so I can show you exactly what the bag looks like. But what I might do is I might do the decorations for the bag off screen because I'm wary that I've been through two whole catalogues and it's getting a bit late. I will put a picture of the finished one up on my blog. But it really is a cute, cute set. So this one here, where's my bone folder? See, earlier I was speaking about the importance of bone folders. This is why. Look at all the stuff you can do with them. But what's great about this set is it has the stitching around. So if you wanted to put this through the die machine on DSP and cut them where the stitching is, you could get a layer of DSP for each section, which would just be cute. You know what else you could do, actually, with this? I've just realised. If you push that in the other way... You could have your bag out. Look, look, look. Oh, endless possibilities. You could have your bag that way. That's a good idea. I don't actually know. Let me have a look at the catalogue. Which way is it supposed to be? They've done it both ways. Both in and out. So you can choose which way you want to do it. That's annoying. I thought I'd found a new way then. And the catalogue had already got it. Let's pop the handles on. One. Two. Oh, how cute is this? One. Two. Oh, it's adorable. This, this is definitely the best set in the catalogue. I've been playing with this for ages. But if you've got a little party... Oh, can you imagine a baby shower and putting little stuff in there? Oh, it's just so cute. I've put that handle a bit lower than the other handle. My mistake. Let's put that one a bit lower as well so they match. There we go. Look at the bag. Isn't it pretty? I actually quite like it pushed out, but you could have it either way. Um, because I'd already stuck it down, these tabs aren't down now. But they've stuck inside because that's how I'd stuck it. But if you were going to do it this way, you'd just do it that way to start off with. And the tabs would be stuck down. And yeah, you can decorate it. Look, there's buttons to go with it and buckles. Gosh, it is definitely such a cute set. And what sentiments have we got for it? Kindness is always in style. Yes. Hello, fabulous. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Just think how you could gift this for Mother's Day. What a good idea. Well played, Stampin' Up. I love that set honestly do if you fancy that set i think get it quick because i do think that's gonna be a really good big seller and it's got some matching ribbon with it so this is the ribbon that comes with it it's the mint macaron ribbon and it's cute and there's tassels to go on that honestly i'm telling you there is so many ways to use this look at the tassels such a good suite okay there's also music from my heart if you're a music lover and then at the back you've got the kits so you actually have simple kits 
let me talk you through them all inclusive it includes the cards everything but it, you also get the stamp set with it for 25 pounds which is a bargain really when you think there's a stamp set and all the bits to make the cards you then have your project kit your project kit is two different bits so you get your project kit which is 28 pounds and the stamp set separately which is 18 so you get all the bits to make the project and then you buy this separately but if you had a huge group of people coming over to craft this would be a great idea and then you have the medley i like medleys this is great it has the paper in it the stamp set the die cuts the dies the stamps the ribbon papers everything it tells you here everything you've got check your catalogue if you want to copy the catalogues by the way i have loads i will pop them in the post for you tomorrow same as if you still want to join the paper share they can go in the post to you tomorrow as well and then this here shows you how you can put the projects together to make the kits and explain it so that's really the end of the catalogue it does have the handy little index here telling you where all of the stamp sets are and finally if you are hosting and you spend over 150 pounds you can then purchase this set which is 15 pounds but you can only get that set if you spent over 150 pounds so those are the two catalogues if you're interested in anything let me know if you do head over to my site slimandstylish.com head up to the header and click buy it will take you to my store do use the hostess code unless you are planning on using the host sets and then you're your own hostess and you can get the stuff for free. But like I said, if you're planning on spending over sort of 90, 100 pounds, do look at joining it. It's the best deal and any of the orders you place, you get 20% off. So that's great. And if you want my, my pick of the catalogue of what to buy, buy the bag. It's just amazing. If you're a craft show person, just imagine these with candles in them, candies in them. You can use those bags that I pointed out from the Birthday Bonanza with the dots on. Awesome. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you've liked the projects. They will be featured on my blog. And yeah, any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of the day.